Welcome back to the Whimsy Kettle Studios. My name is Linda Arnold. I'm a mostly self-taught potter who has a mild hot tea addiction. I am on a quest to either find or make the perfect teapot and then fill it with the perfect tea. Joining me on my quest is my eldest son, Spencer. Hello, Spencer. Uh, hello, Mother. This is almost done. So we're going to be reviewing a double vanilla gourmet white tea today, which may not be a white tea, but who knows? Uh, we did have some minor issues, and we'll be back, and we are back with it almost done steeping. Hey Siri, stop timer. Okay. Wow, that is a very good plumpage. These tea leaves have majorly plumped up. They look amazing. Give it a smell. Let's give it a smelly smell. <laughs> well, it doesn't... Ooh, Ew. there it is. There's the vanilla. Um, that kind of smells burned. Yeah. It smells like burnt vanilla. Mm. And not like in a tasty creme brulee way, like in a... Um, in a you left it on the stove too long way there's um there's quite a lot of particulates oh my that's um hmm. that is Pillsbury icing wow um that is Pillsbury icing okay wow um that's all I can describe this as. It's it's too vanilla, but also like sweet, like too sweet, like painful. Um, we've had the discussion before about how much I enjoy vanilla. Quite a fair bit. And we know that the smell will trigger headaches for Spencer. Um, the smell of this is not so bad. However, the taste is, well, it's like Spencer said, it's, it's icing. It is a vanilla icing. It is, wow, it is too much. I am not enjoying that. I won't finish that. And I am ready to put it in the bad box. What do you think, Spence? Well, I would say it starts off on a good foot because I don't have a headache. Well, that's true. But it is, it's very sweet, very vanilla-y. I mean, it's double vanilla, so of course it would be very vanilla-y. Um, this, if you remember back, when we tried the Mighty Bean Vanilla Tea, how overly vanilla-y that one was, this is right there with it for me. Yeah. It's a, it's a bit much. Yeah. I'm going to give this a thumbs down. Um, it's too much. It really is just too much. I'm giving it a big old thumbs down as uh, well. The fact that it looks like you can get a second steeping out of it is promising. If you um, Grab one of the small cups. Let's see if the second one's any better. Because, I mean, there is a possibility we put too much in. That like is, always. That is true. Like always. Uh, did you set a timer? Of course I didn't, because, you know, nice. that would have been thinking ahead. That's okay. So, oops, that's a little over full. This has been about three minutes, maybe. About. So here, I'll, I'll have you be our guest. Be our guest. Oh, that's too hot. Put the tea to the test. No, same issue. Really? Yeah. All right. Well, the fact that you can get two steepings out of it, really promising for it. Yep, I just, I can't do it. Yeah. Uh, bad box. So, hmm, actually, I'm not going to throw this since it's, it is in a glass. It is so, glass. we will gently place that in the bad box. All right. Well, thanks for coming by and having a couple with us this afternoon. We appreciate it. Um, 
<laughs> we're going to try to have some better teas and uh, come on back and we'll catch you later. Hey there, do you enjoy our content this afternoon? Gosh, we really hope so. If you did, make sure you give us a big thumbs up because it really helps us out. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down twice. If you'd like to go ahead and subscribe so you can see us on a regular basis. And suffer with some bad tea. <laughs> and truly suffer. Hit the subscribe and then the bell notification so anytime we upload new content, you'll get the videos. You'll get alerts to the videos. Um, if you'd like to leave us some comments about your favorite teas or if you've tried this and what you thought about it or if you'd want us to give a, a certain tea a whirl, um, you know, put it in the comments. We'll see if we can get our hands on it and give it a test. Thanks so much. We'll catch you later.